again to do a different pie. This is actually a family recipe that I just got today, Dachtuzu egg pie, a nice uh, sweet dessert. So I'm actually, I've only read this through once, en français, in French, so um, I've, I've already set everything up to um, make, and of course I've got my pie dough ready to roll out once again. So first, it's going to be a little slow here because I'm, I'm going from French to English. So egg pie goes thusly. Beat with a fork three eggs. Add three quarters of a cup of sugar. Mix that together with the eggs in the bowl. Number three, add two cups of milk. Mix. Add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of, uh, I'll just search this one, of muscad, which is nutmeg. And then you're going to pour this mix into the pie crust that is not cooked and cook um, in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, turns page. And after 30 minutes, you take the blade of a knife and you put it in the center and if the knife comes out clean then your pie is ready. If not then at five minute intervals up to 15 minutes um, you can leave it in to make sure that it's done. But you have to check it if you go beyond 30 minutes every five minutes because what did I mean? otherwise if the eggs cook for too long then it won't be any good anymore. So, um, I may show one or two little steps along the process here, but I got this in the mail today as well. It is a hand-woven little apron that was made in St. Marguerite, Quebec, that was bought in uh, at Place Bonaventure in Montreal, the heart of Montreal. So I just had to show off. I really love collecting aprons. So anyway, I'm going to get started on putting this together. And when I've made this, I'm actually going to make it go like right here up here because it's going to be a family favorite as well. So, all right, see you soon. All right, so I've just swirled the uh, ingredients together. This one, this pie is actually easier to make, believe it or not, than the vinegar pie. I had my um, pie crust ready to go and the ingredients all mixed up in less than 15 minutes outstanding. Um, so yeah, this, this is a French Canadian recipe that my grandmother made many, many times and my youngest uncles, I am told, would drive over from work or on the weekends just to get mum's egg pie. So, uh, Tante Louise, Tante Diane, si tu pourrais montrer ce vidéo à Tante Florence, ça serait super. I'd love it if you could show this to them or to show this video to her because I want her to know that I actually did this. I want to be one day a master baker like my grandmother was. I find this this uh, a little liquidy, so let's just see how this turns out. Like really, really liquidy. So I'm hoping that the eggs that are in here are going to give it a good consistency. There. So I'm going to obviously more carefully put this into my already preheated pre oven. But yeah, my goal in life is to become as master baker as my grandmother who could make like this with the hand, make this into in the flour and have exactly one cup's measurement of flour. I'm not there yet. Lots of work ahead of me there, but anyway. This is going into the oven, 30 minutes. I'm going to see how this turns out. I hope it turns out fabulously. Hi. Okay, so this is what the um, end result is. It looks fantastic. I, I uh, put a little bit of cinnamon on top right at the end when it came out of the oven for the uh, benefit of my videographer. 
but um, I need to get in touch with my lovely aunt because we're going to have a little bit of a midrash as to what the actual baking time is because although she wrote to me that it takes only 30 minutes and then check every five minutes from there on um, to, to bake this pie, I actually at 30 minutes this was still completely liquefied so um, you know we're going to go back and forth and please pray for me because I'm going to be going up against somebody who's been baking pies for 70 years plus so this is going, this should be an interesting conversation so we're going to see who's going to agree on on the cooking time for this pie but either way um, it's really smelling smell o vision right now would be fabulous it's um, it's going to be a good eat night so I'm going to cover this just for now bye bonjour Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde. Okay, this is my actual third attempt to finish this last part of the recipe that I had recorded th uh, two to three months ago in March of the egg pie or tarte aux oeufs. It is not a quiche, it is a dessert pie. And um, Anyway, so I, I had, to, I, I'd never seen the video. It was just, it was dumped off onto Don's computer and it was just left there since March. So I actually watched it today for the first time that was done in three parts so that I could actually know what to conclude with. And um, yes, I did have this mid-rash conversation with my wonderful aunt shortly after the original filming was done. And it was decided that basically um, you start at 30 minutes of baking time by putting um, a knife into the top of your pie. And if it doesn't come out clean, then you just keep doing it again and again every five minutes until it reaches the consistency. What you're, what you're looking to have happen is um, like, a, like a glassy finish. It should be like a, almost like cutting through butter, like a very soft butter. It's a very unique way of making it, and there's another uh, French-Canadian recipe, a dessert called crème caramel, which kind of looks like an inverted pie, but doesn't have the crust on it, and on the top is caramel. And it also has that same very, very... Um, the word in French is lisse, which is like a glossy, very... Um, like a skating rink look, very glossy look to the to the top of it. So that's the desired consistency to bake towards. But in our home, because Don does not like such a, what he says is an unfinished looking pie, I actually have to leave it in for an extra five minutes so that it kind of has a more, um, j just a, a stronger texture to it. So give it a try and customize it to how your family likes it. I have have made it many, many times in the two months that it's been sitting on Don's hard drive. So um, I actually made that very pie for his birthday at the, the beginning of this month instead of a birthday cake, because we don't really eat cake here. So I made him an, a tarte for his birthday and uh, it lasts about a day about a day, you know, that's, and that's if we can keep me from, you know, reaching in with the, the fork and just, because you can actually make a meal out of it because it's just got so much nutrition in it. So anyway, so that is the conclusion. If you decide to give it a shot for yourself, then um, please feel free to leave comments below um, as to how it turned out for you. It's just really a wonderful dessert pie and um, I can see that the background here is not as lovely as looking at pheasants. This is actually um, this is our back porch which we have some open windows. I just decided to take a few minutes to come out to the porch and record this uh, little piece for you to to conclude the matter um, just after being caught in the rain that we've been waiting for so Praise Yah for the wonderful rain that comes because our fields are getting really, really dry and 
dirt has been blowing all over the roads out here in the country. So, yay, amen for the rain, and have some pie today. Your taste buds will thank you for it. Shalom. Bonjour.